Hey, this is Colton, Gamer Handle Silicus, and today we're going to look at the HD 380s. Box they come in, relatively uneventful, opens up, has a nice uh, magnetic clip, of course the headphones are in there, tells you details about it. So again, I'm not really going to go over the hard specifics, it's kind of hard to explain why a headphone sound good until you try them on for yourself. Different things matter to different people. Anyway, the 380s are the upgrade from the 280s. 380s, 280s. You can see the joint is a little bit different. The cup size is a little bit bigger. The nice thing about them is they're a little more collapsible. They actually uh, fully go so not only do they turn like this, but then they actually fold in. So you can store them in a nice little container that they come in. Has a zipper, you can run the cord through it if you'd like, right here. Now, one of the things about the 380s is they sound a lot better than the 280s, at least in my opinion. They're clearer, they're more level. If you have an equalizer, you can balance them. They are really, really comfortable. Probably one of the most comfortable pair of headphones I've ever put on my head. And I've probably tried around 30 or 40 different headsets. But as far as comfort for a closed eared system, these are super, super comfortable. They block out a pretty modest amount of outside sound. Once again, they're closed so that they're good for blocking out outside noises, but as far as sound stage goes, which is your overall feeling, you feel very closed in, they're not naturally open, but, you know, once again, the people next to you don't have to hear you. Um, these things go for around $175, somewhere, give or take, off of certain fine retailers. Mine happens to be Amazon for these. Sennheiser HD 380s. Uh, they're built a little stronger, to me, than the uh, previous gen. They uh, have Sennheiser written at the top. Nice padded off there. The joints feel a little more solid. These are metal, what it feels like anyway. Both sides moved, fit the comfort for your head. They swivel nicely. They're very clear. Uh, bass is a lot of pop. Uh, when I use headphones, a lot of problems with some of the ones that I've had used in the past is that whenever I turn up the bass, I get a lot of vibration <laughs> noises and a lot of capping out. And they sound really horrible. Uh, with a good equalizer twist, when somebody throws a grenade, or if you have a tank drive by and you hear all the rumbling, or even in good orchestral music, it has lots of highs, lows, mediums that sound great. So you have a good mid-range, as well as lots of bass. Uh, as far as vocals goes, they sound great coming out of Ventrilo or TeamSpeak or Skype or any of those. Uh, so far these have been some of my favorite headphones. For a closed ear, they sound absolutely amazing. So if you're trying to not disturb your buddy, or if you're listening to it on a plane, or somewhere that has some outside noise, or you're just trying to be courteous, these are some amazing headphones. They are $175. They're pretty expensive. Um, but once again, you get a nice cable. It's got the adapter like the last one. They're built pretty sturdy. You get a nice little carrying case. Uh, if you've got a decent mic, you can use them for gaming or obviously outside purposes. They're kind of bulky, but it is nice that they fold up. So again, these are an amazing set of headphones if you really want to try uh, some great audiophile grade that are under $200. Anyway, once again, this is Colton, my gamer handle Silicus, and uh, my next video up here shortly.